Hey everybody, welcome back to Disturbing Creation. So I created a new channel because I want to show just entertaining videos now. Me going out and racing and actually building the car instead of just doing mechanics. So today I got out my 2001 Porsche 986 Boxster. It's got a 2.7 engine in it and it is five speed. So as I start building this car, Every week or two weeks when I add a piece to it. Actually, this is my show car. Um, the race car you can actually see over there, that's the 99. But as I start adding parts to this, I'm going to start showing this piece, this piece, and then I'm gonna ask the audience, you know, hey, like, what do you guys think? Should I do this? What color? Should I do that? And I want you guys to actually have a little conversation with me, get involved, be a part of it. Because if I get a lot of people that say, no, don't do those rims, do these rims. Well, maybe you guys know something that I don't, you know? So let's take a little look around this car, see what we're working with first day. I haven't modified anything yet. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I don't like and some of the things that I do like. And this is the first video I'm introducing the car and then I'm going to go ahead and start putting some parts on. So let's do the walk around. So I have OEM lights in here. They're called the fried eggs. They have the white on the top and the yellow on the bottom. But I took them out already. They were uh, kind of hazy and I had to clean them, get all that stuff off. So they're in the shop right now getting done. The paint looks pretty decent. The only thing I don't like is this PPF stuff I was trying to pick off, but you can't. It's even harder to get off than wrap. You got to heat this and then get what's called a plastic razor blade. And when we get done, when we get down to doing this, I'll show it to you. Because if you wrap over this, Everywhere this is where there's a line, you're going to see a line in the wrap as well. And we just can't deal with that. Now, it's just got a regular factory bumper, regular factory rims. Nothing has been done to the car at this point uh, that's aftermarket. I, I, I guess except the taillights. Um, I'm not very sure if the taillights are... These are aftermarket or they changed in this year from 2001 when they did the new engine. But I've seen some that have the yellow and red up here as well. Just like on my other two Porsches. These ones had nice clear. I took the bump stops off on the back here. Because we're going to be taking those pieces off on the back. And modifying a bumper that's different. I don't like those kickouts. It doesn't look clean. We're going to be taking those off. If you want to see this kind of stuff where we're doing the actual work, click down below, go to Disturbing Creations Auto, go under one of our Porsche playlists, and we're going to teach you how to do all kind of mechanics on all of these boxsters. Uh, another little quick one is I'm going to take off this wing right here. Uh, I took it off another car that was damaged, our silver uh, Boxster, and it just looked crappy. I sanded it down, and um, I wrapped it carbon fiber. Well, that car is down with the transmission problem right now, and it's just too much to buy a transmission. So we are waiting for a parts car. So all the pieces I was going to put on that car in the shop is now going to go on this show car. So let's look around a little more. So we got like a little dent right here. Looks kind of fresh, a little, little paint smart, smark there. Uh, you can see that the car was damaged on this side here that somebody um, bumped up against it and, and drove against it. We are going to be hiding all of that with the body kit though. So it doesn't really matter to me. Also, the top has a slice in the plastic. Most of these plastics only last so many years and then that's it. I don't like plastic windows, but they all come with it. You have to buy a completely new roof to get the skinny glass window that comes in here. Um, to buy a whole new top glass 
take it out, put it in, pay someone to do that, or spend three days doing it, you're probably going to spend close to a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. Um, a hard top for this is around three grand. So we have a surprise for you guys. We have found something that is going to convert the car to something different. But you got to stay tuned and watch to see what we're doing when we rip this convertible top off. Now let's look a little bit more. So we got this terrible PPF here again. We have to heat up these mirrors and peel all of this off. I hate this stuff. It's just ugly. Um, some of the plastic has been grayed out or that used to be black. This is going to need to be stained back to black. Um, a lot of Porsches have this problem here. This piece is always broken, so we're going to source this out either from another car, uh, parts car, or we're going to have to buy a new one. Again, it's gray. It's supposed to be black. It's just been beaten by the sun so much that these normally look like crap. Uh, the rims are okay. I just don't like the twists, but the pattern of the Porsche is 5x130. It only comes for Porsche, and they know you're buying Porsche. It's very expensive. I don't like it. And it did come with some nice clear marker lights, so that was a bonus. Uh, everything else is pretty much standard. No cracks in the window. Everything works. Let's look inside and see what we're dealing with here. So right off the jump, I don't like the tan, but everyone else so does. As you can see in the 2001, you have an airbag here. It really needs a touch up on this uh, tan, yellow, whatever it is. It looks kind of dirty. Um, I've had the car for a year. I was just driving it around until I decided I wanted to turn it into a show car. But now, I don't know if I can bring this back. If not, we have a black set to go in here. Um, another thing I had to do was the ignition switch on these cars go bad all the time. So you try to turn it on, it's not turning on, it's not doing anything. Uh, or you turn it on and then it just, it doesn't kick back. The spring is broke, so it'll just keep trying to engage your starter. It was a very easy fix and I think the part was only 25 bucks, but we went ahead and changed that from underneath. That is a part that goes bad all the time. So watch that on the Porsches. Now it is stick. I like it stick because the automatic transmission's at about 100 miles an hour. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say 100 miles an hour, bro? Because I know that my top speed is like 178. Mm. All right, so I messed up right there. I didn't mean 100 miles an hour. I meant 100,000 miles. At 100,000 miles, these transmissions are crap. But let's get back into the video because past me wants to keep on going. The automatic transmissions at about 100 miles an hour have a pump seal that goes bad from a bearing. And that's what happened with, uh, to me on the 1997, the Silver Daily. If you watch our other channel, Disturbing Creations Auto, I work on it all the time, but the transmission finally went out. So I don't know if I'm gonna change that to a parts car or we're gonna find a parts car that has a transmission. But just letting you know what's going on and where we are with this car right now. So this has a 2.7, the oil, the AOS, uh, air oil separator is bad. It's smoking out the back. Um, you can look that up. I don't want to have to go all into it, but it's a very common problem on the 2.5s and 2.7s. I did order the part. We just haven't put it in. When I do put the part in, that video will be launched on the Mechanics Channel, Disturbing Creations Auto. So let's uh, bring you in a little closer so I can show you what we're dealing with on the inside. And you can see, maybe give me some hints, uh, some comments down below. Change this, don't change that, clean this, get rid of that. And let's just see what's going on. All right, so this is eye view of what you would be seeing if you were inside the Porsche Boxster as I am right now. And... It's just basically a base model. 
So someone did put a double DIN radio in here with a CD player in, which is cool because, you know, I still have CDs from 200 years ago when they were popular and I don't want to throw them out, but now I can use them. And once I get a scratch, whoop, I'll just wing them at another car that's beating me in a race. Um, the standard pieces are all ready to go. Now, this piece on my other car is up higher and there's nothing down here, which is a little different. We have the stick. It's got a little mildew on it, so that's going to have to be clean. Ugh. Um, it's got nice seat covers. The seats underneath are not that bad, but these seat covers were really expensive. They're really tight on the seat, and they fit perfectly. I really like them, but when we turn this into a show car, we are getting brand new seats, probably, um, what do they call that? Uh, uh, upholstery, embroidered, maybe with the color or whatever. Comment down below if you would like to see us get some seats that have like stitching with the same color as the car or, or maybe race seats or whatever. What do you guys think would look best in the Porsche? So the carpet needs clean. Uh, there's no... There's no uh, floor mats in here. Um, you can see that there's a lot of dirt and crap. I just didn't take care of it the first year because I was going to rip this car up to be a race car, but then I got the 99. And a lot of people like this. You can see my cat's paw prints from playing in here, even. A lot of people like this car, but I don't know. I just don't like the tan. So it's... 35 degrees outside i'm in new jersey but i gotta make these videos for you guys so you can see what we're working on if we don't make the videos then it just kind of goes away and then you skip a whole process so i i, I had this nice color bar in the back um with the deflector window here don't like the tan the, this tan but if we get a black one i'll, I'll just change that out to black um, the top of the roof looks really nice. The roof looks good. There was just that one slice in the window that normally have slices. Um, it did not have the back panel that hides all the cubby hole. There's a thing here that should have speakers in it, um, that slides two doors. I do have it on the daily because I hide my CDs and my radar detector and stuff in there because there's no um glove compartment in this car so you only have this the airbag nothing and then this one little thing down here uh that doesn't really have a lot of room in it at all anyway so i might take that out from the other car and put it in here um i already took it out of one of the cars started sanding it down and got it to a nice color i, I might wrap that or paint that as well you guys tell me what you think I should do, and um, I'll take any ideas. And if we get a lot of people that say, yeah, wrap it, nah, just leave it alone. It's it's okay. Just throw some carpet on it or whatever. Hey, you know, you guys tell me what you want to do, and I will make it happen on this show car. So the inside is pretty decent. It just needs a clean. Uh, you guys saw that everything is OEM. Uh, we only have the marker lights, I think. And, um, uh, well, that's about it. Maybe the tail lights with the, the clear on top, uh, the Euro looking lights, but that's where we're at right here. This is the 2.7, uh, stick. I think it's 214 to 17 horsepower. I, I see conflicting numbers on different websites. Uh, the 99 and the 97 that we have are 2.5s. They're 21 to 201 to 205. I see fluctuating numbers on, on websites. Um, the one that has a transmission problem, we might tear that apart and, and grab some parts off of that. It has a better roof with no rip in it. I might put that on temporarily. Who knows? You guys tell me what you want to do. What should I do here? And what should I wrap? We're going to have to wrap this car. Um, I think we're going to wrap purple satin metallic. So I don't know how the purple and the the tan is going to go together. Now, I told my couple of my buddies I'm thinking about wrapping this purple with the 
tan the peanut butter on inside so they were like ah oh, we'll just call it the pbj porsche the pbj peanut butter and jelly so the peanut butter's on the inside and the jelly's on the outside but i don't mind that i just don't like this the the yellow the tan i just don't like it so we might be stuck with it we might not we might eventually paint this uh for a full show car if it gets to that i don't know if you have painted some of your interior before and it came out looking great and it actually lasts like i don't want to paint it it looks great and then it only lasts for like two months and it scratches it's bad um you used to not be able to do this like 15 years ago you used to be able to get duplicate color vinyl paint and it would just flake off it looked terrible i tried sanding it clear coating it doing all kind of stuff and it lasted for like three months it was terrible but if you have done it and you know a good brand please comment down below and tell us what that is so that i can go ahead and buy that brand and start practicing on some of the pieces that we have as well and if you leave a comment down below and we use any of your comments we will shout you out on the next video of this series of making the show car so that gives you a little incentive to start a conversation and get involved um if you have a friend that likes porsches or makes a show car porsche or has uh boxsters please share this with them so that they can also watch the video comment and leave me some suggestions like yeah i've already done this look at my video don't do that yeah this is a good um thing to do it really changes the what your, your car looks like uh get rid of those oem rims and get these kind of rims you, you know it really changes the car anything that you know or have or have done please let us know comment down below and it'll help me out immensely now we only have ten thousand dollars to make this full show car i'm doing a challenge the ten thousand dollar challenge so i already have four thousand dollars in buying the car and the car runs uh, I think it's got 120,000 on it, 115,000 miles. I, I got to look. I have three of them, so I can't remember which one has which miles. And I didn't bring the keys out. So I think there's 120,000 miles on this car. It runs great. The 27, I really feel it picks up way more than the 25, even though it's only a little bit of horsepower difference and a little torque. I, I think just the bigger math and intake... It just has a better snappy response. But it could just be this car. I don't know. But if you think the 27 is snappier than the 25, please comment down below. If you have a 25 and you've drone drove a 27, you think it's the same, then tell me about your experience also down below. I'd like to have a conversation about that to see where we're headed. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump out. Again, we only got $10,000. $4,000 has been spent on the car already. Uh, I think it was going to be around $1,500 for all the wrap, the tint, the headlight tint, the window tint that I, I've looked at. It's going to be around $1,500. So that, that already bumps us up to $5,500. And if I get a hard top, that's going to be about $3,200 as well. We're going to be at about... 8,700, 8,800. So we're only going to have about $1,200 left to do anything. Now, if I decide to sell these Porsche rims for $500, uh, then we're going to add that $500 into the kitty. And instead of $1,200, we'll have $1,700. But hey, that's what it is. You know what I mean? You, you got to sell something, make something, do something, change something. If I could sell the top roof with the back window for a couple hundred bucks, the frame and everything, and just say, hey, you can have the top, everything, just sew the new window in, give me 300 bucks, 500 for the rims, three, 400 for the top, that's almost another thousand dollars that we can put towards grabbing other rims. But I think I have a solution already how to fix the rim and how to change them with some rims we have off another car just laying in the house we might just have to powder coat those to make them look good 
All right, so I've told you enough about what we're doing with the car. I hope you follow us on this journey. Leave us a like and subscribe. Share this with people that like to make show cars or like to see how show cars are made and or challenges for the $10,000 challenge. We cannot go over 10,000. So wherever we're at, at the $10,000 mark, that's it. We're done. And that's all she wrote. So let me go get some work done, buy some parts, start getting this stuff on, and you can see right where we're at. All right, guys, so here's a little sneak peek of a video that we're working on next, just to make sure that you guys know that we're doing something. And this is a great time to subscribe so you can see what we're gonna put out editing next week. This is the conversion kit with tinted blinker and tinted headlight. It makes it look round like the newer style Porsches.